Greetings everyone, I'm Stefan and welcome back to the colony. Today we're actually returning to a colony that's in a decent state. We have plenty of people, they're all well armed, and uh, as long as Inferno centipedes don't drop in the middle of our base, we should be relatively good to go. Uh, today we have a couple objectives. First and foremost, we want to uh, automate our defenses slightly more. We can research some more advanced turrets and place them down to make sure we have more secure defenses. Otherwise, I want to get as much research done as possible. Ultimately, we can deal with pretty much any raid that happens. I'm probably going to eat my words there, but basically, I want to build a spaceship to, uh, you know, get the hell out of this place. And uh, since we have a save our ship too, we're going to have to do a lot of research to make that work. Granted, we're probably not going to go for a massive capital ship, but I would like to have a ship that is well equipped to deal with any ship-to-ship uh, -ship combat, and then potentially the next series, we'll be using that ship to start the Save Our Ship series, which will be quite exciting. Uh, the mod itself is very good, and it's very similar to FTL Faster Than Light, except in some aspects better because you can have full customization over your ship. But anyways, enough talking, uh, let's see what happens with our poor, poor colonists. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Co Coz is gonna get an addiction. Alright, great. Good start for today. Oh, I wonder if uh, we can just pick pick up that, uh, that Psychite. Hey, Rigor, you got inventory space, right? Uh, not quite. Trevor! Trevor, my man! Alright, uh, how about you grab all that Psychite tea? And all the Yayo. Yep. This is uh, by far the best way to prevent any Psychite binges. Just uh, kind of grab all the drugs and you'll be fine. Alright, our first raid is Tribals. That is going to be fairly easy. You know what? We could potentially even activate the, the Mechanoids over there. Hmm. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. Let's, let's save these Mechanoids for later. Uh, ultimately, I want to do something funny with them, like uh, <laughs> counter an empire raid. Yep, that was uh, fairly easy. Our defenses work uh, quite well against uh, just primitive tribals. Uh, hopefully, these tribals don't just try to like dig through our walls because that'd be that'd be rather unfortunate. We'd have to shoot them down. No, don't break down my door! Oh god damn it. Die! All of you! Probably just make a make a wall there, TBH, but yeah. Oh, we got carapods with our PG7 frag grenades. Uh speaking of that, we could potentially go for some sort of rocket launcher system that has an area of effect thing. Like the frag grenade, for example, that could be really useful against groups of targets. Although at the same time, having our colonists carry more is uh, gonna be asking a lot of them. They're already basically full on mass. All right, we got biofuel refining. Ultimately, what I wanna do is get some uh, transport pods up and running. With transport pods, we would be able to just load up any junk that we have and send it out in the world to try to improve relations with some other faction. For example, we can make these Outlanders our friends and just, uh, you know, uh, basically only get raided by tribals, mechanoids, and pirates, which would not be all that bad. Uh, we are due for another Empire raid at some point in the future, but hopefully uh, we'll be able to either improve relations by then or release uh, the people once that happens. I also want to install an electric smelter so that we can uh, smelt away any garbage. Ooh, we got a new recruit. Dotstro. Uh, someone who's actually capable of shooting for <laughs> for once. I think we want a nice uh, caseless cartridge rifle for her uh, as well, so let's go ahead and craft another one. Once we can. For now she'll just be a shotgun slave. Oh, Koz is going on an Ambrosia binge. Alright. Dasto, take care of it. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Koz? Huh? Just wander around? Yeah. 
Now, there is Ambrosia, like, literally all across the map. Uh, but I don't think she's smart enough to go and pick it. Ooh. Look what we got here. A mech cluster just outside. Alright, let's just turn off the turrets to make sure that we don't accidentally trigger it, because that could be bad. Let's see here. What's it gonna look like? Alright, it is mostly open, and there are no auto mortars. I mean, honestly, just having this thing outside of our walls shouldn't be too bad, in theory. Oh, it's got a shield, too. A high shield. Alright. So if we want to kill it, we can, but <laughs> trying to deal with these turrets is not going to be fun. I will just kind of let some enemy wander in there, I suppose. All right, let's see here. We have a siege. If only they arrived right there. All right, let's take a look. Uh, they seem to be fairly well armed. Uh, but we should be able to counter them. Potentially, by just, uh, you know, shooting at them hard enough. Half of these guys have shields. <laughs> we can't really do anything. We got one of them down, but... Yeah, the rest are just kind of, kind of ploinking uh, any shots off. Let's reload these weapons and uh, see. The grower's out of ammo. Trevor kind of is as well. All right, Trevor, Trevor Rigoro, going in. Garo, don't flinch. Going on a mission, buddy. Uh. I guess Raven's a problem, so let's, uh, let's make a mini mission. Oh, oh, <laughs> nice one. The missile flew over and uh, hit a man with power armor. All right, let's see. It just kind of caused havoc in their lines. Boom. Oh. I didn't know that could happen. It is a siege on top of a siege. I wonder if these guys are hostile. They are. <laughs> All right, that works in our favor. And, uh, hmm. I don't know what the range on the mechanoids is, but we could potentially use the mechanoids to our advantage to have a three-way conflict. All right, let's just, uh, let's just kind of run away from here while these guys deal with each other. Should be hostile. Oh yeah, they are. Battle has begun. Oh, it's not even close. The <laughs> the Dominion just kind of wiped uh, the Outlanders. Now, this is actually really risky, but what we're going to do is wake the Mechanoids up. Uh, if we can. There we go. Just have to place enough beds. Let's see, are they in range? Not quite. Not quite. We might have awoken the mechanoids for nothing, but hopefully uh, these guys do get triggered. They're still way out of range of uh, the mechanoids. Oh, not for long. Let's see. Come on. Mecha! Mecha! There, there's things in your range. Come on. Dude. Really? Really? R really? I guess, uh, I guess the mechanoids just want to live in peace with the Empire. Well, we have mobilized the shotgun squad. I guess Trevor can come help. Guns do count in such an encounter. Uh, Gora's probably better off in bed. Oh! Luciferium. Stone's coming back. These uh, EMP shotguns are just uh, shredding these guys. They're not even all that hurt, so like we could potentially capture them and uh, release, but... Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, these guys just kind of kind of fell down and quit. There are a few cataphracts, though, which, uh, which do interest me. If we can grab these cataphracts and their armor, that'd be quite amazing. Alright, that's one down. 
Uh, this guy might even be worth keeping. Even though he is very neurotic, he does have a lot of intellectual skill. Should be able to get this cataphract as well, uh, otherwise they are a bit too far away. <laughs> These guys are going to have a party. Nose, in the meantime, is going to snort some coke and uh, go heal these prisoners. I was going to release them, but then I realized that we kind of do want their armor. It is going to temporarily add to our colony wealth, but we have transport pods now. And if we could just build up a few transport pods and uh, send the goods somewhere else, we're going to be in a very winning situation. So let's just uh, strip all of these. Why did I just hear an explosion? Oh. <laughs> I have a feeling some of our prisoners aren't going to be able to leave. <laughs> These poor, poor Empire dudes. I see two of them have already died, and one is just downed over here. Yeah, this is not a particularly uh, safe path. Oh, well, good straighter. That is unfortunate. I did want to trade with the bull goods trader. Guess not. Th th things are going kaboom? Is everything okay? <laughs> no. No, it's not okay. Holy shit. Let's see. Can we actually rescue stone without uh, triggering the mechanoids? Oh, we can, for sure. Alright. Stone, don't just don't don't go insane. All right, come on, dude, Luciferum, pop that in your mouth, and uh, let's go make some ammo. Orange raid Cairo. It is looking like they're gonna have to face the mechanoids, so let's see how that goes. Ah, uh, mechs have woken up. All right, well, uh, see how this goes. Let's see, are people restricted to our home area? Yes, they are. Good. <laughs> Going outside is not something I would advise uh, under these circumstances. Land Scyther, what, what, where are you going? D don't, don't go here, please. Leave. All right, well that's that taken care of. Oh, are the centipedes gonna come in as well? Really? All right, well. I suppose we can deal with those guys as well. Oh, that was an explosive bolt projector. Alright. Guys, just... just kinda... Oh, wow. That did nothing. Uh, that works. That's cool. Alright, let's see. Do we want to use an explosive? I suppose we can. Alright. Easy. Easy. Alright, perfect. So, while, uh... While Nose and Dostro are having a social fight and uh, our base is burning down, we managed to deal with Mechroids. S somewhat. Yeah, I uh, I don't think I'll make our people leave our base anytime soon. Th this is fine. Th this is fine. We, we can just have uh, no, shells explode outside. Koz, you, 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 you dumbass. You, you absolute just... Just run. Just, just get out of here. Just, just get out. Just get out. 
Please, just, 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 oh no. That's a problem. Now our base is exposed. You know what, we don't, we don't need to worry about this. Let's just kinda, just kinda pretend this hole does not exist yet. Just kinda stay out of there, we'll be fine. All right, well now our map is a bit of a ruin. That's no big deal, because uh, it is a pretty safe ruin, considering how there's mech turrets guarding us, but yeah, Sli slight difficulty. I suppose the best we can do is uh, try to get some chem fuel up and running, and uh, send a couple transport pods worth of stuff over, because if we take a look at our wealth tab, it is not looking good. Oh, let's see if we can get another cluster. Four centipedes, one lancer, twelve pikemen. Uh, actually, there doesn't seem to be any sort of auto mortar. You know what? You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, holy shit! Well, uh, eventually there's gonna be a raid that deals with this. I don't want to deal with this. Not, not at all, so uh, we'll just kind of leave it be. Just like this thing. Except this thing we probably do want to deal with. Speaking of dealing with this mech cluster, I wonder if I can be sneaky and just kind of uh, squeeze in some buildings. Aha! Well, the third's still activated. Whoever can, uh, can get it one bit at a time. You can faintly hear the turret just lock on. There's actually two of them. This is quite a risky procedure. Let's, uh, let's just kind of do this uh, slowly but surely. Alright, that works. Now we can let our colonists actually roam inside our uh, territory. Alright, let's see. We have a gift basket ready up. Let's see who we can send this to. Ooh, we can send it to the Dominion for 88 opinion. Uh, or a bunch more opinion to uh, someone else. Making the Dominion uh, friendly with us is probably the way to go, though, so let's go for that. Now they're allied. This means that they will not only not attack us anymore, uh, they might actually come in and help. We also just got rid of a bunch of colony wealth, which is awesome. Alright, we got another gift basket. And, uh... Let's load that up as well. I'm gonna keep one set of recon armor around, uh, just in case Kappa's doesn't just kind of die on us and uh, actually just us to join. But otherwise, everything else is going to transfer pods. Let's see. Plus 165 opinion. That'll make them uh, friendly for sure. Yep, they are now at 65 opinion. Alright, stone is nice and healthy now. Let's take care of the mechs over to the north. We have to be really careful about this though, like... Obviously we're shooting them, but if they shoot us, then we are kind of screwed. That is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Uh, no, guys, you're, you're not going to try to fight the fire, because this is not our home. We're instead just going to wait for the fire to go out, and then Stoda is going to pop back out. How to deal with these guys. Yeah, we're actually going to have to take a break for the time being. Uh, Stone, I was getting a little pissy at having to stand and shoot her mechanoids all day. These centipedes, they, they got to go down soon being way too stubborn. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm gonna stop trash-talking centipedes, because uh, this mountain is getting suspiciously smaller <laughs> by the day. Alright, that's another centipede down. Honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna equip the law and just uh, go for it. Yep. 
Yep. Mechluster dealt with. Now we can move around on this side of the base. <laughs> Yay! Really? I just hate these turrets, dude. We gotta we gotta take them out somehow. Uh the low shield will cover literally all the mech cluster, unfortunately. Oh no. Although, hold on. There's gonna be a recharge of the low shield, which means that during the recharge we should be able to uh take care of it. Yeah, with a sniper rifle, uh it is pretty easy to wipe out mech clusters. Not when there's centipedes in there, but uh, once there's just turrets left, Stone could just outrange them. Alright, now we can go in. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Honestly, this is better. But then if just like one colonist was here, because we could maybe deal with a mech hive drop right on top of us. Oh no. Stop, stop shooting, stop shooting, just... Was this reloaded? Alright, alright. There's three centipedes. Let's see. Okay, they're stunned. Close range rocket launcher. And actually, we dealt with these guys. Holy. <laughs> we can simply survive uh, centipedes dropping up on top of us. That is... That is pretty great. Alright. Now let's, uh, let's finish the job and... Kill this thing. Finally, we have defeated this mech cluster. Whew. That was a lot more difficult than <laughs> than it should have been, but now we finally dealt with it. Uh, we could deal with the defoliator as well. It's not really hurting us. It's not, it's not doing anything. Uh, the range is not enough to come close to our potato fields. Otherwise, uh, next episode, we'll probably just leave these two mech clusters alone. If they do decide to wake up for whatever reason and attack us, uh, you know, they can go ahead and do that. Honestly, I'm fine with it. We can take mechanoids at our base as long as we repair it and uh, not have it be a complete mess. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. We are well on our way into researching Starflight basics. And so the next one, we should be able to uh, get relatively far into ship design. And hopefully, within a few episodes, we'll be off this planet. However, it won't be easy, and uh, hopefully it'll be quite exciting. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.